Ahoy! Today I'm going to be showing you 5 extremely common sailing mistakes that I see new pirates making all the time. And also show you some small changes to correct those mistakes and help you become a better sailor within just a few minutes. The biggest mistake of all that I see a lot of new players doing that can be absolutely catastrophic is leaving your anchor down when you reach your target destination. This is extremely bad for a lot of reasons, but the biggest reason by far is being a sitting duck for other players that are looking for a little bit of PvP action. For example, say that you're on an island, kind of on the other side of the island digging up some treasure. You suddenly hear cannon fire and explosions. If you're anchored, it's probably already too late to save your ship or get away. But if your anchor wasn't down, you could likely sword dash through the water, climb up under your ship and start sailing away, repairing, and most likely be able to escape. If your boat is sitting still with the sails down, that also tells players that can see your ship that you're anchored and you're probably not going anywhere anytime fast. They will know that you're an easy target. I definitely recommend practicing ship control and learning just the right time to raise your sails in order to slow down and coast into the position that you want your ship at. Or maybe still use your anchor to stop your ship in the place that you want it to be stopped at. Then raise your sails so your ship isn't going to float off somewhere, but then always remembering to raise your anchor just in case other pirates come to fight you. This next one definitely goes hand in hand with the first mistake on this list. Never leave your ship turned into an island. This is actually very terrible for a similar reason as the anchor thing. If you need to get away, you can't. You might say something like, but I need to harpoon treasure. But I strongly recommend only to have a weird angle like this while you harpoon and only if it's absolutely necessary. Okay, hear me out. My number three is extremely simple, but I almost never see people doing this when I play the game with randoms and open crew. Adjusting your sails to catch the wind makes a massive speed difference. All ships react a little bit different depending on what way the wind is blowing against your sails. As you can see here, for example, brigs are the fastest when sailing against the wind and while the wind is blowing across your ship, and the galleon is by far the fastest while the wind is blowing directly into all of its sails. Just in case you didn't know, when you're on a ship, you can look up and see these lines. If you turn your sails toward the direction that the lines are moving, they will catch the wind and you'll start to gain speed. When you're in a fight with either a player ship or a skelly ship, try to make all of your shots intentional. Don't just shoot randomly. I see this so much, it's crazy. You want to make sure to create as many holes along the side of an enemy ship as you possibly can because this will lead to a much faster sinking of an enemy vessel. Or maybe during combat you'll need to suppress cannon fire from the enemy ship and deliberately hitting the cannon line of the enemy ship will knock players or skeletons off of the cannons or maybe even hit them directly and get a kill. The same thing applies with the mast, the wheel, and the capstan when you're using chain shot. Oftentimes when you're aiming at the hull of a ship, all it can take in order to make much more of an impact is just moving your cannon back and forth horizontally as you spam fire your cannon. Once you start doing this, you'll instantly see the amount of destruction you're able to cause even as a single cannoneer. Keeping mega kegs or even any kegs on your ship is always dangerous, and putting them in your crow's nest is probably the easiest way to let other players sink your ship for free. All it takes is one well-placed firebomb to hit the bottom of the mass and boom. The whole thing is on fire instantly and about to set off all your kegs. Imagine if you have a stronghold keg in your crow's nest and you happen to be on a sloop when this happens to you. The damage and the radius of the keg are strong enough to kill anyone on the sloop and fill it entirely with holes, sinking it incredibly fast. Don't let this be you. Just for you, I decided to add a bonus tip in this video. I actually made an entire video about this one, so make sure to check it out to learn why utilizing Seaforce is one of the best things you could ever do to become a better sailor. 